Welcome. So here it goes. It says a surveyor wishes to find the distance across a river. The bearings from two points 70 feet apart on the same bank of the river to a tree on the opposite bank are north and north 34 degrees west. Find the width of the river. So what we have is we have a river, right? Okay. So it says there's two points um, that are on the same bank of the river. So we'll just say kind of two points here and two points here. Then it says um, that these distance is 70, 70 feet apart. All right. And so since they're 70 feet apart, there's now there's also two bearings on this for those two points to a tree on the opposite bank are north and north 34 degrees west. So let's say I have a tree here on this other bank. So to get to this tree, one bearing is due north and the other bearing is due north, but 34 degrees west. So you could say 34 degrees is going to be that angle right there with the bearing. Then what they like us to do is find the width of the river. So therefore we need to figure out what this distance is going to be x. The only thing right now is we know that this is x, that distance is 34. But one other point we do know, if this is 34 degrees, we know that um, on having this line here, this whole track, this whole length needs to add up to 90 degrees. If I'm going to have these two lines due north with this horizontal is going to be perpendicular. Therefore, I can have a right angle would be here, and then this would also be a right angle. So if therefore, if that's going to be 34, then I could say that this angle has to be 56 degrees. So what I've created now is an angle with the theta, with an angle of 56 degrees, a length of 50 feet, and now I just need to figure out what the width is. So to be able to do that, I think of my trigonometric identities, trigonometric functions, and say which trigonometric function would work for this if I have the opposite side from my angle and my adjacent side. And the answer is tangent. So I could write tangent of 56 degrees is equal to my opposite over my adjacent. Therefore, multiplying by 50 feet, I'm now going to get x, or by 70 feet, I get x equals 70 feet times the tangent of 56. So I look for my handy calculator, which is off the set here. And now I go just go ahead and take a tangent of 56 times 70. That's not right. Uh, 70 times the tangent of 56. Forgot to close my parentheses, which is now going to give me 103.77. Therefore, x equals 103.77 feet. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you use a little bit of bearings and a triangle to, to uh, solve your problem. Thanks.